In this lesson, we'll learn how to connect to our Linux instance from a Windows software while using SSH. Our Linux AC2 machine runs on AWS. It has a public IP address, and if you remember, we have set a security group that allow us to communicate with this machine from the port 22. SSH is the most important tool for connecting to our machines, as it allows us to take control remotely and execute commands. To do this, you'll need to install or use SSH from your personal computer. You'll be able to communicate through the internet. Today we'll learn how to configure our computer to connect to our instance with the free PuTTY software available online. We'll download it, install it and configure it. First, let's search for the PuTTY software on the internet. Go directly to the organization website and download PuTTY. As you click on the website, you see that you have different options regarding the different versions. I'll install the 64 byte version. Save it and install it by default. Once that is done, we can now import the key that we downloaded earlier when we created our instance. To do so, go and get the PuTTY folder and open PuTTY Gens. This software will allow us to import the key. We click on File, then on Low Private Key. and we'll then be able to retrieve our key in our system. I've put mine in the download folder and more precisely in the share folder. To make the key appear, you have to select at the bottom right, display all files. My key file named my first instance in PEM format appears. You can then select the file. Put it informs us that the file was well imported, but that in order to use it, it is necessary to save it. We save our put a key. Put it displays a message asking if you want to save this key without adding a password to protect it. In my case, I select the option yes, because I do not want to type a password when I connect to the machine. It simplifies the process. Although the key will be saved under the same name and that it will appear by the same name, it will have a different format. This time it will be in GBK. Now that our key in PM format has been converted to the TEK format, it can be used with PuTTY to connect to our machine for the first time. With PuTTY, we will want to connect to the IP address of our server. To do so, we'll go back to the console and get the IP address of our machine, which we'll copy. Return to PuTTY and paste it directly here.
In SSH, there is a concept of user at the time of the connection. Therefore, we'll add the ACT user set by default. To do so, type ACT dash user at our IP address. We will now be able to save our profile named my first instance. Once done, we can test the connection. An error message appears notifying us that there was no supported notification methods. This is due to the fact that we didn't associate our TPK key with our profile. So let's take care of that right away. To associate the key to the profile, you have to open Putty again. We'll first load the profile and then go to the connection tab. Select SSH and then OFF, which stands for a notification. We'll be able to define a file of notification for this profile. We'll go and get the key from the folder. Take the key in the TPK format, go back to the station and save it. To make sure that the modification have been applied, try to connect again. As you can see, we are well connected to the Amazon Linux AC2 machine with the AC2 user. Since we are now in our machine, we can launch some commands. Who am I, for example? It will show our login identity. Here, AC2 user. By typing ID, you get all the information regarding the system. Lastly, we can also ping the outside. We'll make a test on Google, which as you can see works. To exit, we can type exit or control D. To check that our profile is working properly, we'll make a new connection with Puddy. We'll load our profile again and open the application once more. As you can see, it properly works. So you've seen today that we can easily access our AC2 console with a Windows machine. Thank you.